David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another ink review. Today I have for you a limited edition ink from Papier Plume, which will be making its debut at the Ohio Pen Show this upcoming weekend. The name of the ink is All Saints Daybreak. Uh, this ink celebrates three concurrent celebrations, all of which fall on November 1st this year. Uh, those would be Fountain Pen Day, uh, All Saints Day, and the Ohio Pen Show. Uh, what type of ink could embody these three occasions? Uh, in order to find out, please join me over here at camera two. And this is what the bottle looks like for the Papier Plume All Saints Daybreak. Uh, as you can tell by the color of the bottle, uh, that this color is a nice blue gray. Um, the imagery on this bottle is actually of the St. Roques and the Campo Santo, uh, which is a cemetery in New Orleans. Uh, and it's nice how they kind of incorporated the name of the ink into the uh, sign of the cemetery. Uh, with all Papier Plume the inks, uh, it does have this wax seal on the top uh, that I do like it because they are unique and everyone is going to be a little bit different. I will say though there are times with this overlapping wax that it can get a little challenging to, um, uh, to recap the bottle because the wax kind of uh, seeps into some of the threads and so then it just becomes a little bit more of a challenge to recap it sometimes. Uh, and some more than others, but uh, this one was just a little more challenging. But that's just one of the unique features of this Papier Plume inks. So here's what the color looks like. Uh, it's a real nice blue-gray. And I will say that what I realized is I don't have a lot of blue-grays in my collection. Uh, here it is in comparison with uh, the Pilot Oroshu Zuku Tsukiyo. Uh, here it is with an ink that I reviewed just a couple of weeks ago, the Venta uh, Armada. Uh, this is a shade that, while it's darker, it's along that same hue, which is uh, Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake. Uh, here it is with a Yard of Lead Blue Black a Roaring Klingner Verdigris, and then the one that uh, looks closest to it that I have in my collection is the Mont Blanc JFK Blue. So it's very similar to the JFK Blue. And here's a couple of swatches on 52 gram Tomoe River paper. I use a Q-tip on this one, and this one is more of a smear. Uh, these are rather heavy applications. You can tell that with the heavier applications, you do get a bit of uh, shading in here. There's not much in the way of sheen, but uh, there is a lot of shading as you can see here. And in regard to bleed through and ghosting, uh, with the heavy application that I give here, to have such little bleed through on here is actually an accomplishment. So I'd say that that performance very well. And here is what the ink looks like on some Rhodia 80 gram paper. Uh, we have Papier Plume All Saints Daybreak uh, and with a heavier swatch here you can tell that uh, even though there was a heavier swatch there wasn't a ton of or there was zero bleed through and just a little bit of ghosting so I'd say it performed very well. So I'd say that the ghosting and bleed is very low. Uh, the shade is medium to high depending on the application uh, and the sheen I would say is low. So in regard to some pens. Uh, they are all pens that are actually two pens that I'm going to be reviewing in the somewhat near future and one that I have looked at in previously. And the first is the Karen Dash 849. And this one has a fine nib. So here we have the Karen Dash. And this is the 849. And this is a fine steel nib. Then next up is a pen from Wancher, and that would be the Dream Pen True Arushi in red. Um, this is a pen that I've really enjoyed, and I think that Wancher did a very good job with their Dream Pen. Uh, this one here has a 14 karat gold, um, or actually, I'm sorry, no, it's 18 karat gold uh, nib on here. So we have the Wancher. Dream Pen, True Arushi, and this is a medium gold nib. 
Uh, and then finally, we have something very special uh, that uh, you're going to be hearing some more about here in the in the very near future. This is a pen from Sean Newton, and this is the Prospector model, and this is in a pinstripe acrylic. I'm a, I like basically call it a, a zebra material, uh, but this is a pen that I'm going to be uh, reviewing uh, very very soon. And there's actually going to be a very nice giveaway. Actually, I have a new puzzle contest coming out, so look forward to that in the very near future. And this is the Newton Prospector. And this is a broad nib. Okay, first up with the current dash uh, that we have a bit of a writing sample. where I said All Saints Day is mainly a Catholic celebration to remember all of those who have entered uh, heaven. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, a very cute movie that I really enjoyed was uh, called Millions. Uh, it stole, and there is a, a certain aspect of the story uh, that related to saints that I found endearing, uh, especially when a kid, a kid basically would have relationships with all of these saints. He had a saints book and he would remember the saints and he would have these visions where he would meet these saints out of the book and all of a sudden he's there and he looks up and says and he would be able to identify them and he says like hey you're the martyrs of Uganda of 1881 and he would be able to identify the saints and they had conversations and they would give him uh, uh, advice in life which was uh, it's a very uh, again the movie's called millions and something I recommend next up we have the Wancher. I uh, had a bit of a stop here in the end. Um, that I said that Fountain Pen Day is a, a yearly celebration for all things fountain pen created. Uh, it was founded back in 2012 by a gentleman by the name of Kerry Yeager, who championed the day and helped turn Fountain Pen Day into a worldwide celebration involving hundreds of retailers and tens of thousands of celebrants. Okay, and finally, the last writing sample is with this Newton. said the Ohio Pen Show takes place this weekend near Columbus. Uh, the Ohio Pen Show is, uh, you know, I have, it's a show that I have yet to attend, but I always hear great things about the show. The gentleman who organizes the show, Terry Maywater, also runs the Triangle Pen Show here in the Raleigh area, and the uh, organization of Terry's shows are always spot on. Okay, um, I would say that the flow is uh, wet for this particular pen, especially uh, depending, if you have a, a heavier nib, that it was a little bit on the wet side. And the, for drying, uh, even though it was wet, it seemed like it was drying for the most part after 15 seconds, a little bit after 30 on the fine nib. Uh, in regard to the ink, 
This said Papier Plume All Saints Daybreak is a nice blue-black ink which can take on different shades depending on your nib of choice. That I found with my uh, with my fine nib here that it was much darker, uh, and that uh, with the medium and then even the broad, then you started to get a little bit more shading in there, and there was different variations. So there wasn't much as much shading with the fine, but that the broader the nib, the more shading came in. Uh, and then finally at the end here I said look for a giveaway and a puzzle contest soon for the Newton. Uh, I don't think it's something that you're going to want to miss out on. Okay, now for a bit of a water test. And as I let this sit here for a second, we'll take a look at the chromatography for the Papier Plume All Saints Daybreak. Uh, you can see it breaking up here that it uh, kind of separates into some grays and some uh, blues and violets and a little bit of brown. And then in the end, this is what the uh, chromatography looks like. I just think these are kind of cool the way that the colors split out like that. Uh, but it really can show you that this is really a blue gray. Okay, in regard to waterproof, and water resistance. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, nothing I would call waterproof, but it wasn't dissolving away at first sign of water. So there we have the Papier Plume All Saints Daybreak. Uh, this is, like I mentioned, a limited edition ink that is going to be available at the um, at the Ohio Pen Show. Uh, and what happens is on the limited edition inks, if they have any quantities available after the show, uh, then they make them available on their website. Um, I've heard that this edition is a little bit more limited than others. So uh, that there, there might not, if, there, if it's something that interests you, I would either get to the Ohio show or speak to someone uh, who you know who's attending who could pick up a bottle for you because uh, they might not be available after the show. Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.